<laughs> okay. And give me... Man, I can't talk to you. I can't. I can't. I can't. What else do I have to do? That is there. That is there. Oh, switch. I can't see all y'all. Can't, 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 can't see y'all. It's too bright. Oh, it's too bright. It's too bright.
pin. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ball player. I'm a ball player. Y'all can't play no Y'all can't play no ball. Can't play no ball. Can't play no ball. Cause I was sitting there bored to death and needing just one breath. He says, You gotta get up, you gotta get up, you gotta get down, girl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't want from nothing. Mm -hmm. Happy, happy music, happy music. Get up. Give me that, yeah, put on. Then I think we should go in the morning mood. Would be um damn morning mood. Do a pack. Whoa! 
But I love to go the together. That is too I need a light. I wanna give me I had another one. Jones Cup, that's it! Up together! Put our love together! 
Okay, see God's I can see you you see God's over there. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. It's a way back Wednesday. How the hell are you? Boy, I love that last track. Let me tell you something. I made good time going down the turnpike listening to that song, if you understand what I'm talking about, right? Okay, so this morning, it's a way back Wednesday. First hour, 70s. Second hour, 80s. Third hour, 90s and beyond. This hour, the 70s, if it ain't banging, it ain't pumping, we ain't playing it. It's just that simple. Also, I got to tell you about the Throwback Festival going to Jacksonville, over to the uh, Morocco Shrines grounds, over off of St. John's Bluff Road, Cameo, and my girl's Climax, and guess who has tickets? Well, you know, don't you know? You do know, right? Get up, you gotta get up, you gotta get up. Big Lou, what you gonna do? I see Bo Payne online, Crystal Nelson, Neil Guarte, BP, oh my god, there's a list of folks already lined up, ready to go. They know where the party is. Tell your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, and of course the dumbass probation officer. You listening to Captain and Company. <laughs> Get up! Get up! Gotta be a banger. Don't play no wit whack. I need to turn the light on. Morning, sir. If you want coffee, you gotta make it. If you go in the refrigerator, you wash your hands. Go ahead and make coffee. Y'all can't see this. Y'all can't. Oh, yes, you could. You could. Give me a minute. Okay. 
I need the weather. Gotta get up, you gotta get up, you gotta get up. Sit on down. They're not plugged in. Plug them in, Paul. Follow the wire. You see where it goes? Here. What's that right there? What's that right there? Now the button all the way to the right. Now that goes. But now this is dark. I'll come back to it.
hello, hello. So don't we do the same thing when we record video? Yeah. That's a podcast. So we have almost 1,500 podcasts of this show. People will listen to music until they're tired of listening to music. And then, ladies and gentlemen, they want to be entertained. That's why you have DJs with talent. Not people just, ten people sitting in a room, running off at the mouth, and you can't understand a word that they're saying. Let that sink in for a minute. Let it sink in. Like golf balls falling out of the sky, smacking people in the head. You think you can do radio? Show me you can do radio. Because the answer is, if everybody can have their own radio station, they would have done it years ago. Boom. I love it. Godzilla versus Crime Hills. <laughs> Breakwater splashdown time. Got your national news coming up next on Captain and Company. Flight number 1512. Flash down time. I don't get it.
on the news 31 after the hour Catman company the news being brought to you by premier elevator what goes up must come down holla at my boy john who just got back from his vacation at disney walk yes disney walk i can't say disney world because they might want to anyhow disney walk that's where he went and hung out. Premier Elevator, 321-316-8558. That's 321-316-8558. Proud sponsor of Captain and Company in the morning. as well as Musk. PETA is offering the NRA $100,000 at a time when the NRA says it may have to close its headquarters due to financial troubles. The NRA is currently suing New York, claiming state regulators are discouraging companies from doing business with it, and says as a result, it suffered tens of millions of dollars. Holy! Well, like, Wave to Periscope. Wave to Periscope. A letter Tuesday. Wave to Periscope. 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 PETA and the NRA have a history. The animal rights organization has protested the NRA for years. And last year, the NRA released multiple videos called Trust the Hunter in Your Blood that denounced animal rights groups like PETA, which it called particularly hostile. It is the dream of the animal rights fanatics to suppress your most natural connection to the earth. Another video says hunters are in the middle of a war and likens animal rights groups to Al-Qaeda. For so many of us, sex trafficking can sound like it's something we're far removed from. Like it could never happen to us or the people we're around. But UNICEF says it's the second largest criminal industry in the world. And anyone, regardless of class, gender, age, or education level, can be trafficked. I felt trapped. I felt like, um, how am I going to get out of this? And you didn't know if you were going to live or die. Loyola University analyzed the impact trafficking has on its victims in 2014. One woman anonymously told her story of being forced to have sex with 10 to 20 men a day, doing what a strange man told her out of fear of collecting more scars across her body. This is the experience of just one person who could have benefited from getting help sooner. This isn't just a problem uh, in our own backyard or anywhere else. It, it's a global issue, so it's something that really needs to be tackled. Michael Recupero is Director of Patient Care Services for Northwell Health in New York. The health system has created an initiative to identify and help trafficking victims in their care. And we know that identification is the hardest thing. Um, and since you have so many of these people that are in trafficking situations accessing health care, it only made sense to partner with health care, get us involved, and make sure that we can identify these people and then get them the right resources. Loyola's study includes responses from 106 victims of trafficking. Most of them reported receiving medical treatment while in captivity, and by far the most consistent way was in an emergency room. It's a very delicate situation. Um, you just don't want to throw up red flags and get them in trouble, so to speak, or have some harm come to them as a result of this. So you really need to gingerly um, give them the resources and provide them. It may not even happen on the first attempt. The Trump administration is expected to issue a proposal that will make it harder for immigrants who are in the U.S. legally to obtain citizenship. Sources told multiple media outlets lawful immigrants enrolled in government programs like Obamacare or the Children's Health Insurance Program, or who've received a public benefits like food stamps, would have a harder time getting citizenship or a green card. That's because the proposal would expand the types of benefits that could serve as grounds for the government to reject their applications to become residents. The same could happen even if a family member was enrolled in the program and not the applicant. A spokeswoman for the Department of Homeland Security says the administration wants to, quote, protect the American taxpayer by ensuring that foreign nationals seeking to enter or remain in the U.S. are self-sufficient. 
The White House has been reviewing the proposal since at least March. It reportedly had to be amended multiple times for fear of potential legal action against it. According to CNN, White House advisor Stephen Miller is trying to expedite the measure, which would not need congressional approval. You're going to have to tone it down, Petey. I've got the FCC all over my rear. Well, with all due respect, sir, the FCC can kiss my ass. I ain't saying nothing but the truth. As long as the people want to hear it, I'm going to keep telling it. I'm going to talk it on the radio, huh? and I'm going to talk it on the street. Huh? Captain and Company. Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. 36 after the hour. I love the words in this song. you going to make me love somebody else. You keep treating me the way you do. Jones girls, crank this mother up on a way back Wednesday. Uncle Paulie in the house with me. Okay. Rita, I don't know what she's doing. She's mad about yesterday. And so I'm like, whatever. You think I can't do the show without you? I, look, you know I can do this. This is my sleep. Just do the movie news. Okay. my light now. There, I got my light. All right.
Bring it home. Should have a you should have a look we try all this foolishness with Facebook I, I like Facebook and just they, they crazy they whack out but just come along ride with us you gonna make me love somebody else I want you to know I sang that song from Fort Pierce all the way to West Palm Beach. You gonna make me sleep with somebody else? You keep on treat me the way you do. <laughs> That's not what the word. Well, you get the gist of it. 44 after the hour. Ladies, gotta take care of your man. And fellas, you need to take care of your ladies. Or you're all gonna end up being a side piece. You know what I mean? Uncle Paulie. You ever been a side piece before? Yes. Okay. I have to comment. Slick Vic was down at Buck's train camp yesterday. I said a hoaxer was down there. Mm. Oh, What's that? A, I wonder if he got a picture with him. Hulk Hogan was at Buck's train camp yesterday. Oh, okay. So, uh... Mm-hmm. Well, he's it, up here at Amway Center last night for the WWE. There was WWE here in town? Yep. See, nobody tells me about things like this. I thought, uh, I thought you guys had all that covered. Dead silence. Okay. There's another WWE event here tonight. What's that? What is? There's another one tonight. I got too much stuff to do around here. I can't be everywhere. Uh, tomorrow we're on the road, Jacksonville, going up to Happy Jacks. Maybe I'll stop by Jolie B's and get some chicken. You like Jolie B's, yeah, don't Jolie, you? That's very good. Yeah, so we're gonna have to leave a little early. That's down off. Uh, that's Beach Boulevard, ain't it? BP. Yeah, that is Beach. Is it Beach or is it Atlantic? It's all the same to me. Anyhow, Total Leather uh, Saints and Jaguar, 7 o'clock tomorrow night. You'll get some updates uh, via our... I don't know if we're even going to use Facebook. Maybe we will. Anyhow, quarter after the hour. Time for Horoscopes Done My Way. And that's all being brought to you by our good friends at Mattress Clearance Center. Twice the sleep at half the price. Call Santa. I'm telling you, Santa's delivering a bed for the CEO this weekend. (laughs) I like that. Pick me up and I'll go with you. All right, I like that. Uh, Maitland, 407-408-6181 or down in Winter Haven, 863-999-2300. Mattress Clearance Center. Call Santa. Don't be cheap now. Aries! There are days you feel totally blocked, kind of like bloated. Uh, you just kind of feel like, bleh, like you can't do anything. Well, this is not one of those days. Flex your muscles, loosen your tongue, 
and stretch your imagination. You know, I could say something about that one. Polly? Yes. Flex your muscles, loosen your tongue, and stretch your imagination. Uh huh. I'll leave that one well enough alone. That's Aries. Uh, let's see who else we got to talk about. Taurus. When you say malt liquor, say Schlitz malt liquor. Why do you always have tips with someone you love over the same stupid things? Honey, you don't wash the dishes. Honey, you don't take out the trash. Honey, you be texting your friends and look. Stop all that foolishness. Just stop it. It's stupid. Y'all grown-ass people, you know you got to wash the dishes, you know they don't levitate, you know the trash man runs on Monday even though the trash is still sitting outside on Tuesday, and if you want to text somebody, knock yourself out. As long as you don't, well, then you know. Today's a really good day to take a harder look at some of these patterns. Chances are the pettier, the reason the better the fight. Uh-oh. Gemini, you two-faced people give a whole new meaning to the term fresh idea. Your idea is so fresh, it's fresher than Subway. Fresh is fresh is fresh. Oh, what was that song? F-R-E-S-H. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Yo, that's fresh. Your idea is so fresh as if it's never even heard of a, of a refrigerator. Put it into action before it gets stale, Gemini. <laughs> I like that. Cancer. Stop smoking them cigarettes. You'll be all right. Your internal touchstone, the place where you touch when you want to see how things are going and how you're feeling and whether or not you're on the path that you've chosen is the right one, is more a muscle than a rock. Your touchstone is your very own heart, and today's a good day to listen to it beating. In other words, go get that aspirin from, uh, what is that, Paulie, they got you taking that low-dose aspirin? I take uh, leave. Okay. Uh, Leo, very few problems that come across your kitchen table that you can't solve. No more OJ, run to the store. All out of eggs? Call up uh, whoever's on their way over for breakfast. Can't pick up a dozen? No sugar? Ask the neighbor for a cup. Leo, it sounds like you're broke as an artichoke. You gotta go borrow. Does anybody borrow sugar anymore? Paul. I don't know of anybody. You can go to fast food restaurant and grab a bunch of little sugars or sweeteners. Yeah, yeah, that's what I would do. Okay, Virgo, the virgins. What you say, it's ridiculous to say that you care that, that you... It's ridiculous to say you care and that you never pick up the phone or write an email or send an old-fashioned postcard. Well, you're right. But don't forget the other folks aren't communicating with you the same way. So if you want to know why nobody's talking to you, Virgo, where was the last time you reached out and touched someone? Libra. Life has you moving faster than a speeding bullet lately, hasn't it? You've barely had a time to catch your breath between leaping a tall building and making quick wardrobe change. Today, slow down. Take a rest. The villains can wait until tomorrow. Not around here. Scorpio, put it into words, whether it's a new business plan or a proposal for a theater production or a declaration of love, that you love somebody else. <laughs> you should verbalize it today, Scorpio. Go right ahead. Go ahead. Then you inherited one man's trash that's another man's not even a treasure. What else is going on? Oh, Sagittarius! Where's Sagittarius? I forgot about you, Sag. Maybe you're feeling like sleeping late, getting up slowly, cooking a big batch of pancakes. You know, I thought about that this morning, Paula, cooking pancakes. You got nothing to do but listen to Captain and Company, so go right ahead, cook some pancakes. And be sure to send me some. I got a taste for pancakes. I don't know. I don't know why. Capricorn. Oh my goodness. Whether you're a novelist or a second in command in charge or deciding what text goes with what greeting card design, you've used. You're used to working with words. So, revel in your abilities to make sense, Capricorn. 
51 after the hour. I'm getting there, people. Last, uh, I smell something, Paulie. I smell something. It's called fish. Today is the day to act, whatever it is. An opportunity, a decision, an innovation. Get up off your ass and get it done, Pisces. And quit complaining. I can't stand the belly aching, whining weasel. Get up there and get it done. I know you can't fly. In the words of Joe Thomas, don't tell me what you can't do. Tell me what you can do. And last but not least, the most perfect people on the planet, unless you're a female, a male, God's people, Aquarius. No, they're the good. They're good Aquarius women. I, would somebody please point them out? Uh, you have started something a while back. Now it's well on its way. Whether you've been gardening, gardening, or raising puppy dogs, or both, you've got results. Daisies are blooming. The litter is growing. There's enough fertilizer to last you through spring. How can I translate that? Okay, there's a there's fertilizer. So that means there's a lot of crap around here. Reese has been doing pretty good. So that means steady as she goes, Captain. Everything is doing exactly as planned. And that is horoscopes done my way. Right here on Captain and Company. A. Hey, Hector, do me a favor. Go to Honolulu, please. do his report.
If you're watching on Periscope, this should be funny. <laughs> okay, this is Bill Holly. <laughs> I was ready, I was ready. No, you weren't. You were sleeping over there. I wasn't sleeping. I was ready for my Hollywood okay, music. Okay, startup. yeah, yeah, yeah. And if they were watching on Periscope, they fell out laughing. And they I fell still, out laughing. Been, I'm here to entertain. Okay, you're right. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. <laughs> All right, so anyway, I've got um, two two new movies I'm reviewing today. The big one's The Meg. That comes out Thursday night with uh, Jason Strahan. This is a movie about he's fighting a prehistoric shark that was underneath the that low levels of the ocean, they had like a ice protector and the scientists drilled down and made a hole for this shark to get out and this shark creates all mayhem. This shark's humongous. And he's a very angry shark. He's a very hungry shark. So well the uh, shark has been asleep since uh since when? Well he never was asleep because he was below the ice. He wasn't in ice. So he was active. There's this lair that was under the regular ocean that we couldn't uh, get through to see uh, what was under it and these scientists this guy had a million no billion dollars of equipment to go down underneath and they found it and what they found was a lot of trouble but this movie is really good I mean, I'm giving this movie four stars and I think if you see it in IMAX it's probably like a five star movie it's really good this movie is worth the extra money to pay the upcharge to see in, in a upgraded format either Digital cinema or IMAX, you want to see the Meg. That were the dog days of summer, so they come out with a movie Dog Days. <laughs> and all I can say about Dog Days, they got some hot women in it. Okay. Well, if you're yawning, uh, there, there really must be. No, I wasn't yawning when I was watching Dog Days. Oh, okay. I'm watching because I have my coffee today. But, okay. Um, but Dog Days is definitely a family movie, you know. And like I say, I, I'm more of a consumer. Like, the Meg is definitely worth seeing in the theater. Dog Days, you can wait to be on video or get it at uh, the Woody Redbox when it comes out. You don't have to spend your hard-earned dollars to see it down at the cinema. But if your kids want to go see it and you have money, you want to take your kids out. It's a good movie for the kids' Dog Days. Okay. Good. I gave that three stars. All right, that's my report for today. We have a great day. This is Paul Hollywood. Hour number two, we're in the 80s. Coming up on Cabin Company. If you use some of these moves way too often, then you might have a common condition called dry mouth, which can be grown on by many things. This is hilarious. Like you said my right then, you're like... Biotene provides immediate... And then I played the bed, and then you started scrambling. That was, be uh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Priceless. Plus, it freshens breath. Biotene, immediate and long-lasting... That was priceless. Relief. So I'm listening. Yes, you're right about that. You're right about that. Hello, everybody. This is okay. Aloma's Barbershop. We are located at 7448 Aloma Ave, Suite 4, Winter Park. I got good news. We open seven days. Early bird, seniors, walk in. Want to make an appointment? 407-928-5812. 407 wow. 928 5812. Open Monday through well, Saturday, really 9 a.m. Now. into 7 p.m. What? Sunday, There's 10 apartments. to 3 p.m. Well, I know, I used to live over there. Hi, I, this is Climax. We're going to talk about that You're in local news. To old school 101.com. Old school <laughs> class is now in session. We look forward to seeing you at our following concerts. September 15th, San Jose, California, the Sap Center, Old School Funk Fest. September 22nd, Jacksonville, Florida, at the Morocco Shrine Grounds, Throwback Fest. September 20th, Adelanto, California, at the Adelanto Stadium, Back to the Funky Life Tour. November 3rd, Carson, California, at the Porsche Entertainment Center. It's a beautiful day to benefit Kaysom Cares. December 1st, in the old California, at the Indio Tamale Festival, Indio, California. For more information, check us out at Climax.com. That's K-L-Y-M-A-X-X dot com. On Saturday, September 22nd, it's the Throwback Fest at the Morocco Shrine Grounds. That's what I can't see. Oh. Featuring cameo. Hey, Sam. Rockin' out, you 
Spanish Hills. Old School 101.com. Part of the Aquarius 7 Broadcasting Network. Copyright 2018. We're on a mission from God. Always something on. Folks, are you having trouble falling asleep? Or what about staying asleep? Or what about even this one? Your significant other tosses and turns while you desperately are trying to get a good night's sleep. Well, guess what? I had all of those problems until I got a hold of Santa and his elves over at Mattress Clearance Center. Since meeting Santa and his elves, I get such a restful night's sleep, and I look forward to crashing on my king-sized mattress. Let me tell you, folks, the Mattress Clearance Center, twice the sleep at half the price. The Mattress Clearance Center has two locations in Central Florida, Maitland at 407-408. 6181 or Winter Haven at 863-999-2300. I'm going to have to do... The Mattress Clearance Center. Tell Santa and his elves the captain sent you. Hey, everybody. This is Star Hansen of Hansen and David, living legend, uh, platinum recording artist, blah, blah, blah. I start my morning every morning with Captain and Company because he's just cool. He's just cool. Just like that. <laughs> Check us out. You'll love it. Hungry, hungry for your love, hungry. School, I want to talk about school, you're going to love this. School day. gotta be who did that school
Hungry Hungry for your love Hungry Hungry for love Hungry Hungry for your love Hungry Holly, I should change the words to go Hungry Hungry for pancakes Hungry <laughs> Seven after the hour Woman runs from the police Nothing In Seminole the County cows. They catch her on the camera Nothing On the helicopter the And she's actually running In a field with cows Not a bad spot for the heifer, right? <laughs> she apparently she was drinking and driving. What is up with people who drink and drive and you run from the police and come on, give me a break. Speaking of giving me a break, big shout out to Michael Taylor up there in South Kakalaki. One of my DJ partners from way back in the day. Also I see Miss Maribel checking in. Uh-oh! Polly, I'm going to see if uh, Mary Bell is, uh, can hook us up with parking. Remember, you always talk about parking in Jacksonville. Oh, that would be great. $30 to park your car to go to a football game. Yes, it's expensive, but hey, we get to go to the church of the NFL. And Slick Vic, I think, uh, oh no, he's not going down to uh, Miami. Miami, I, I don't think so. He didn't say, but he's out of the office today. Did you know that school starts next week? No, it doesn't. Actually, do we have any school? What, 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 what kind of music would you play for school? Background music. Give me something. Give me something for school. No. No. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, why not? What the hell? We're not, we're not dealing with Facebook, so I can go ahead and... Play a little. This is just in the background, all right. Don't get, don't get happy. I'm gonna start tripping. Did you know that Orange County goes back to school on Monday? <coughs> That's it, Monday. Monday, this coming Monday. Yeah. Okay. Now, guess who else goes back to school this Monday? This is local. Now, I posted all the. There's a link for all the national school districts. Osceola. Also on Monday is uh, Volusia County. They go back. But Brevard County and Seminole County go back on Friday. How do you go back to school on a Friday? That's, I mean, come on. Well, they want to get them in and then they have the weekend to recoup from their first day. That's the dumbest damn thing I've ever heard. Going back to school on a Friday. That's why they need uh, new new school board members. That, that I mean, that's that's... That's sickening. Now listen to Miami. Do you know when Miami goes back to school? When? Monday, August the 20th. That makes common sense to me almost. But whatever happened to when I was a kid, we'd go to school. We went to, we'd get out of school like the first week in June, second week in June, actually. And then we would go back to school the day after Labor Day. Well, I think what they're doing down here now is they're trying to start early in case this hurricane day is lost. Dude, today is the 8th of August, and don't talk to me about no damn hurricane, because I, I, we ain't even had a close call yet. But I do know you need to get get, get your water, your bottled, your, your, your bottled water, your canned goods. If you're here in Florida, come on, don't be stupid. I always keep... Uh, a 40 pack in the garage. They ain't gonna have me it was high and dry, not like last year. <laughs> I, believe me, I learned my lesson. 11 after the hour, yes, back to school here in Central Florida for uh, most folks. Hey, all you gotta do, like I said, go to our Facebook page, Captain and Company, and there's a list of Oh, there's a link that tells you every single solitary school, I don't care where it is in the United States, when the kids go back to school.
comedy. And now you see your buddy Polly. Is that Uncle Polly? Is that Uncle Polly? Why don't you just say that a little louder, Vic, so the whole world can hear? Don't since the microphone is wide open. Dress with a tie, you yeah. Know, a more. I am sleeping like for a reason. Yes, cursing in in the whole nine yards, excuse, live on the air. I excuse, like it. Excuse, I like that. I like it. Captain, did you forget? It's time for the Elliot the Trap Round Daily Comedy Bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking out for you, buddy. <laughs> Records presents the very fabulous Leroy Skillet and Luanda! <laughs> 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 
nephew. Hey, that's my nephew right there. Your nephew? My nephew right there, on that picture. Look at that. What you mean, this is your nephew? That's my nephew right there, boy. Your nephew on this picture? Famous man, too, wasn't he? Yeah. A black pastor, that's what he is. Black pastor. You dag on that? You know what he did, Leroy? What is it? They put him in Sing Sing. Sing Sing. He escaped. And got away. Got away. Got away by the other side. Your nephew. You damn right. That's my nephew. Right. Your nephew. You got to know what he did, Leroy. What is that? They put him in San Quentin. San Quentin. He escaped. Got away. Got away. <laughs> It's your nephew right here. Hey, right nice looking boy, too, right there on the picture. This here's your nephew. Yeah, that's his picture right there in your hand. Yeah? You ain't like gonna let that's his picture. I don't see your nephew on this picture, man. <laughs> you don't see him on that? Now your nephew ain't on that picture. Let me see. You look at it. Your nephew ain't on that picture. Well, I'm a damn. That's some <laughs> getaway again. <ending. laughs> and Slack Jaw Leroy from 42nd Street. I got money in my pocket and a big hunk of meat. I like the men folk. I'm the one the big body. If you looking for thrills, motherfucker, I got it. Harlem's <laughs> my playground. Just like a boy's camp. I dug you, baby, when you was leaning against that lamp. I checked you out, Daddy, when you was shuffling up the road. I knew right then I was more woman than you could afford. You a fine looking chick. I think I'll take a chance. That's a whole lot of ass packed in those pants. Just look at you food juicing at the lips. If you knew what I had, baby, you turn back over flip. <laughs> Mama, you're looking good. Soft, round, and nice. To know something that cool must have a big price. Now I see how you talk. Man, you a real dope. If you want to live high on a hog, baby, you got to ask the price of pork. Oh! Wow! Those big f is enough to knock a man down. With nipples like grapes in my favorite shade of brown. Now don't be bashful, baby. I'll speak first. You can buy me a beer to help quench my thirst. I'll buy you a beer to help break the ice. Get your ass drunk and probably cut rate your price. <laughs> now if you like what you see, and you like to call it. Baby, just reach in your pocket and pull out your damn wallet. You can bet your sweet ass. I like what I see. But before I touch it, please state your feet. I like the way you talk. I know you a man of means. And it's going to cost you 20 to get in my jeans. Wow, 20 bucks, you say? That's a whole lot of cash. But I got to admit, honey, that's a whole lot of ass. <laughs> You better know it. It's the best in your city. Come on, baby, slip your hand in my sweater and grab hold of that. <laughs> you ain't just a whooping. I like what I feel. Forty pounds of and every ounce is real. And that's just a sample, baby, of what you got in store. Cross my palm with green and I'll give you some more. Oh, yeah. 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 Baby, you just made a deal. And here's your 20 bucks. Now let's find a motel so I can see how you <laughs> Hey, baby, I know a place just down there two streets. Baby, they don't ask you no questions and give you clean sheets. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, I'll pay for the room. You go on in ahead and spread that fine ass all over the bed. <laughs> oh, honey, you are funny looking. But I really don't care. Cause I ain't gonna see you with your head down there. <laughs> well, here I come, mama. I see that you are ready. Cut out that puffing and blowing and hold yourself steady. Now you can't really blame me for getting so hot. Get off them clothes. Let me see what you got. Yeah, it is, honey. <laughs> Aunt Esther talking like that. What a foul, 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 filth and foul mouth. Local news coming up next. An apartment complex that I used to live in. And the CEO caught on fire this morning. Oh, no. Save your love for number one, y'all. For the one that you gotta come home to. I saw the blazes. I saw the blazes. I was driving down the uh, 408 this morning. I thought you were going to come in. No, I said I was coming in the second half. 
I said I was coming in the second half of the show. And if it ran late, that y'all handle it. Y'all handle, you handle, you handle it, but did it work out? No. Oh. <laughs> Turns out, Captain, I may have a bigger fish on my plate. So hold on before you run your mouth. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We'll discuss off air. Okay. We'll discuss off air. Who got divorced? Holy! Whoa. Mary Bell got divorced! Mary Bell who? Jacksonville! Okay. That's when it's available for you. No, no, if you. Sh- she was a cop. We went to school together uh, in Spain. And she ended up being a cop. She got, a, she got married to a cop. And I, I was kind of like. Honey, I don't think that's a smart move. Because I know how you are. You're, you're just free-spirited. And this man tried to be controlling. And... Hey, wow. He ate the dust up. He didn't give you a warm welcome. Oh, of course not. Nobody gives me a warm welcome. I'm the bad guy. <laughs> And Mo Payne is mad because of the video, and I'm like, dude, I can't control Facebook. Vic. Yes. Oh yeah, you don't have to sit over there because we're on this camera and this one. It's called causing down there in Tampa Bay practice. I heard about it. I don't think I called it while I was. I don't think I called it while I was over there. Renee and Angela talking about saving some love. How do you save your love? Does that mean don't be promiscuous? It, 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 is that what it is? Slick Vic, where are you at? It's a, it's a very broad subject to discuss, Captain. That might be a future question of the day that DJ Raymond had to provide to us. Yeah. How do you save your love? That's like, how do you not spend the dollar at the dollar store on steak? I had everybody rolling about that one. <laughs> Dollar store down here. Dollar Tree, actually, right down here on uh, Aloma and Goldenrod. They're selling steak for one dollar. And I want to know who would buy steak for one dollar. I wouldn't do it. Now, I would buy dollar bologna. And then somebody said, oh, you're crazy. And I'm, I'm Hold on a minute. What's the difference between dollar bologna at Walmart or dollar bologna at the dollar store? It's still an effing dollar. Branding. Now, what did you But it's the same bologna. Bar S bologna. Bar S. Yeah. One dollar. Now, I'll tell you what I had last night for dinner. 
Some of you all, I can hear you right now. Ew! I know where you're going with this. I had chicken hearts. Paulie? Yes. Have you had chicken hearts before? Yes, I have. Yes, you did. We were we were at uh, what was that? That that uh, Texas, uh, not Texas, Dave Brazil. That uh, chop house over there, uh, down there on uh, South Trail, and they served chicken hearts. But you can only look. You got to cook them for like three, four minutes. That's it. Anything longer than that, you're asking for something just just as hard and nasty as I don't know what liver. But I browned them bad boys, threw them in some, uh, let's see, what did I what did I put? The CEO got uh, green beans, and I had corn, and then I also put uh, a spoonful, a little teaspoonful of, uh, what's that stuff? Garlic. Oh, my goodness. Fell out. Even, even Reese enjoyed that one. Didn't you, boy? Wasn't that good? Wasn't that good? Look at you. Licking your lips. All right. 28 after the hour. Got some news coming up about the apartment fire, but first, can I get one more track in there? Since we're on that L letter on a W day, I know Patty loves me. Mwah! Back at you, girl! something else. I'm sitting here banging on the damn console. If I had a, a general manager, they'd be scumming, running in here going, what in the hell is going on? And I would be going, sir, we're jamming. We're playing hits, and we're jamming, and this is how it's supposed to be. But then again, you've got radio people that swear they know so much, and then you've got internet people that don't know diddly squat about radio that think that they know so much. That's why the news is being brought to you in part by not only Premier Elevator, John Gill, what a guy, at 
316-8558. The guy says he's busy. He is swamped with work because of us. But also the news is being brought to you by Radio Show. Brought to you by the RAB and the NAB. If you know anything about what I just said, then you would look it up. If you know absolutely nothing about it, you will shut the hell up and sit down and stop trying to play radio. The radio show coming to Orlando. Listen to this. Young professionals under 35, you're in radio. Get the discounted rate at $259. Right there. That took everybody who's trying to play radio right the hell out of the door. And that's exactly where they need to be. Right the hell out of the door and let us pros do it. Radio show coming to Orlando. Quickly. In the news. There used to be an apartment complex. Well, it's still there. Just some of the homes on this street are no longer there. Royal Isle Apartments on Yucatan Drive. If I say this address out loud, the CEO would scream. 5867 Diego Street. Oh no, 5825 Diego Street. Well, right down the street, the building's caught on fire <laughs> and damn near burned to the ground. Ouch. And you know what else is funny about 5825 Diego Street? What's that? I lived on, Mom and I lived on one side in the 70s. My ex-wife and I lived on the other side in the 90s. Or no, late 80s, excuse me. So you go figure. These apartments are old. Old. You can't put any more paint on them. You can't put any more duct tape on the walls or, you know, to cover the hole. I mean, these, these places, these buildings are old. No wonder it went up like a matchstick. Also in the news, uh, Tropical Storm Debbie strengthening in the Atlantic. It's a fish storm, so don't worry about it. Also, they're talking about Tim Tebow mask the sins of Urban Meyer at Florida. Well, we all knew that, so I don't understand why it's such a big story. Oh, that's right, because Gator fans here in Central Florida. Yeah. Uh, back to school. Orange opens a new elementary school called Sally Ride Elementary. Right. Ride Sally, Sally Ride. Yeah, but I wouldn't have made a joke out of that, Vic, because Sally Ride was an astronaut that was... Uh, Oh, wait, I remember. She was a... Uh, Wasn't she the one that was killed? And, uh... Google it. I'm trying to... What was the name of that ship? Uh, let's see. Domestic violence shelters in Central Florida are filled up. And here's an interesting story. Pauly. Would you kind of follow along with us? Yeah, okay. John Minor. Our buddy, Joe Lopez. And do you know that there's one other one? Did you know that? Another Lopez, you mean? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, okay. Lopez, Mina. Oh. They're running for what? Well, Joe Lopez is running for sheriff. Right. So, what is John Mina doing? Orange County uh, Bear. No, Paulie. He's running for sheriff, too. So who is this third individual? That's, that's what I'm trying to get to. The third individual. Daryl Shepard. This man has never... This is the funny part. He's never been a cop. And he's running for sheriff. But what gets me out of all of this... He's got an arrest record. Wait, what? Yes, this guy running for sheriff has an arrest record. And he says, I know what both sides of an arrest feels like. I like this. I like that. That's telling it like it is. Yeah, isn't that what we need today? I I mean, I like Joe Lopez, trust me. But maybe maybe if Daryl doesn't do well, he could be on Joe's team. Yeah. I think so because I like that. I know what both sides of an arrest feels like. That's some honesty, people. And that's what America needs. Honestly. Preach it. Preach it. But then again, y'all like to run around like crabs in a barrel and imitate, procrastinate, defecate, 
fornicate. Hallucinate. Hallucinate. And in Uncle Paulie's case, I can't even say that. Don't one. even go oh, there. Even that. Captain, no. <laughs> 37 after the hour on Captain Company on a way back Wednesday. Yes, she was, yes, I remember she was on the Challenger back in June 18, 1983 as a crew member on Space, Sh Space Shuttle Challenger for SCS-7. So she did die. I thought it was She died, no, she didn't die. She died of pain, she died back on July 23rd, 2012 of pancreatic cancer. Ooh. An astronaut dying of pancreatic cancer. Well, I want to clarify that. So let we come out of this. Let's clarify. Yes. Clarify that. Yes. Golden buzzer. So I marked his cut town. What does it mean? It gives him a free pass to get right into the live things in Hollywood. Sit there, oh, you want then to? I can see you. Okay. I know you want me to sit over here because you had the two cameras over there. Grandmaster! He's cutting faster. 41 after the hour, Captain Company, flight number 1512. 1,512 morning shows. Who's, who's done more than us except Tom Jordan? I'm curious. I wonder if James T's done. He's been on the air for since since uh, dirt, but that's just morning. But we're talking morning shows. Morning shows, yeah. I'm, 
I want to know who's done that many consecutively. Well, I couldn't say consecutively because consecutively means we've done it every day. We haven't done it every day. Uh, we haven't done it every day, but we've done 1,512 of them. We've been doing this since 2012. Wow. So another 1,500 would put us at 3,000, and that would take how many years? Uh, <laughs> a 12, long 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's a six. That'd be another six years. I don't know if I... That would make me almost 60. But I said at 60 I wanted to make my first million and then I'm... Done. I'll turn it over to the kids. And watch them destroy it. <laughs> ah! Or unless they, they pay attention and learn. Speaking of paying attention and learning, DJ Snake. He's got his own show over there on Lamont Snake Brown. Friend him. This coming Saturday night, 9 o'clock, he's got Cheryl Cooley from Climax on the show and I'm trying to figure out how to run old school from his house Ooh. so Vic I might need you to come in and just sit here for a minute and then run it from here while I'm over there that's fine okay um, speaking of broadcasting yes did you know that Cumulus is trying to buy Univision's 71 stations really but Cumulus can't buy a copy machine. <laughs> Priorities. I mean, I'm sitting here talking to a buddy of mine, Michael Taylor. I'm not going to mention the company he works for. But his people ha are trying to do 10-hour voice track shifts. What? Because they don't have enough people. And they can't afford to go hire somebody. And y'all want to get into radio. Y'all think you know radio. Radio is dead. You've got to come up with a way to do two or three things at once. That's right. Kind of like us. Uh-oh, she says she's working again. What? Man, bro, you working again? Hold on now. I got to talk. I got. Y'all got to hold on a bit. That's fine. Oh, she, no, but I'll be working the game on the 25th. Oh, that's the Atlanta game. Watch this. Watch this. Vic? Yes. Take the keyboard. Mm. And I want you to type to Maribel that we will be there on the 25th. And, 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 and get her number so I can find out about parking. Because uh, Polly likes to, Polly and I love that free parking when we go to Jacksonville. Because my God. Oh wait, how much does it cost to park to go to Tampa? I got my, I got my pass for free. Okay. They gave you parking. For free, yes. F R Double E free. I'm looking at Paul. After all these years. Did you ask for free parking? No, keep it over there. You're gonna run social media. Oh yeah, we had this. Okay. We had this. So yeah. So you're telling me. Mr. Sports Director, that you asked for free parking. Oh, that dog, Captain. I got an important phone call that might be coming in. An important phone call? You better be calling Jacksonville to find out how come we didn't get no damn free parking. I'm We've been... Fuck up. Hey, Tom! What the... Polly! to speak up. Oh, my God. You know, what, what am I going to do? What, what, are we going to blame it on the boogie or something like that? Why we can't get free parking in Jacksonville? Oh, my F and G! That was funny, though. I'm telling you, Elvie thinks she's in trouble now. It's getting worse. No, it wasn't a call. Flash in the pan is what I call it. Tell Michael Taylor. Yes. Unfucking believable. <laughs> Throwback festival. 
Sheila Tones a big station in New York. What? You know WPLJ in New York. Who? Cumulus Broadcasting. Cumulus is in huge trouble. All of them are in trouble. I, you know, we were talking to, uh, oh, what's his name? Bruce Cherry does sales for Salem. And we were talking, he was at HTQ. We were talking about how people are, you know, paying for their ads. He said, dude, you would be amazed. He said, because I call, had to call and tell him that, you know, well, Tim ain't moving fast enough. I don't know what Tim's trying to do. Don't get me out there saying I'm going to do all this work. Where's my money? So, I set up a deal for Clark to run his spot. And Bruce said, Chris, you're not the only one. He said, I had a guy come in and say he wanted to buy $8,000 worth of advertising. He had the money. He was ready to go. During the conversation, um, well, my wife, uh, I got to clear through my wife. What? Well, hold on. If I got $8,000 in ad, ad money and I'm ready to go, why do you need to, or you're ready to go, why you got to clear through your wife? I mean, it's not serious about it. I remember we had a conversation with someone. One day we were going into Daytona to do the kosher show. Same thing, say, I got to clear with my wife. Wait, what? So... That's why I'm like, like the guy, the guy, Danny, he kept asking about, he kept asking, about, hold on, hold on, what was I going to do? Okay. Follow me. Follow me. Yeah. Sunshine, moonlight, blame it on the... Well, I don't know if I'm saying that. I could say that. Actually, you know what? I should say that. My good friend... What was Charo's la last name? Polly? Remember Charo? I don't remember her last name. She always went as Charo. But you remember Charo? Yeah, I remember. Okay, g grab the microphone. Put it in front of Polly's mouth. I know she was married to Xavier Cougat. Okay, well, anyhow... There's, there's, a, there's a lady that works at uh, Winter Springs Family Dental. You'll hear me talking about them next week. Uh, they sent me a memo. And uh, actually, you know what? I, I should do this. I should do this. Why not? What the hell? Charo. The reason I'm talking about this winter call may be monitored okay. and recorded. The reason why I'm talking about them is because they sent a flyer. Charo, good morning. This is Captain Chris Hill. How are you? <laughs> How are you? And, and we're live on the air. We, you're live on my show right now. I want you. To, I want oh you to God, know that you're. Don't say that. Yes. <laughs> but uh, but. Charo, I love the name, but what we were talking about yesterday, how we ended our conversation was, <laughs> remember she was the girl that always said what? Coochie, coochie, coochie. Right, and so she said that she didn't think, <laughs> she didn't think that I would remember that. And I said, believe me, I know about coochie. And then we started laughing. So anyhow, Winter Springs Dental, Family Dental, people check them out if you're in the Central Florida area. You need some Tifus back in your head that's what I'm trying to do that's why I got an appointment at <laughs> 1 o'clock thank you I really do appreciate that okay uh, everyone's welcome here please come say hi okay come, say, take a tour of the office it's just absolutely beautiful brand new state of the art office so I, I got some some jocks here that got bad teeth corns hurt top it off they're late for work <laughs> I would love to take care of them oh, <laughs> okay I'll be I'll be sure to bring them I'll see you on uh, Tuesday 1 o'clock I appreciate that, Chris. You have a great day. Okay, have you too. Bye-bye. Bye. See, 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 we be hooking folks up. Here. That's right. See, I'm going to get my teeth back in my head. I can hear it now. 
Oh, now you think you got your teeth back in your head? You, you a player pimp? I can be a player pimp with no teeth in my head. I'm the captain. I don't get it. I am the captain now. Yes. You know what? I've always been the captain. That's, that just gave me a swoop. <laughs> yes, it did. All right. Um, cameo coming to Jacksonville, the Throwback Festival. That's taking place in uh, on September the 22nd. Uh, Misha Lay's going to be there. Also, uh, my girls from Climax. So if you want to know why I'm backstage, I'll be hanging out with them and we'll be playing in the ladies' room. <laughs> uh, yes, because I'm going to be meeting in the ladies' room. You'll be, you'll be back. Um, uh -huh. be a damn girl we've, got, we've got general admission tickets to give away. Uh, they're valued at 40 bucks a pop, so we got plenty of them to give away. And, well, that's for me. I'm keeping a, uh, the VIP tickets for me. But I could give them away because I know that I'll get backstage anyhow. Because you're the captain? Yeah, I'm the captain. See, I can go backstage and, you know, hang out. And Last time I was backstage, we all got drunk and couldn't even walk and had to tell the car to go home on autopilot. I'm not going to do that. No, no, no. Not, not this road trip. But anyhow, Cameo coming to Jacksonville. Details on our Facebook page. Actually, she got drunk backstage. Oh. You know, I... Her. Hey, Captain. Yes. Go down to uh, Maribel. Tell her thank you. Tell her I'll call her when I get off the air. Oh, you can, uh, hold on. Now you got, look, now you got total control. I don't have to fool it. That was the purpose of me doing that. Now I can. Now you can focus on that. You two can do sports together. Yes. Captain, once we go off the air, I got some stuff, I got some big stuff I gotta tell you. Okay. Woo -hoo. Actually, I got, what's his name coming over too? Who? Um, Clark, I gotta go off with him to an event. But that's okay. Handle, handle things with Clark. Handle things with Clark first. No, no, no. He, we, we, I put the proposal out what needs to be done. Including us, so all I need to do is here. Somebody need to hand me something. Preferably. That, that's exactly right. All I think Jay is back working in the club. Jay Jerome. A draw? Because they took his money took his money away from him. Really? Okay, Mar Maribel, come on, let's go to the con. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my teeth back to... Ooh! Play a pimp! Play a pimp! Play a pimp! Play a pimp! Back up, it's big. 
Since we don't have an interview at 11.20, we're going to do question of the day. Okay. But read us. What do you do with 11.30 then? Is she not here? Yes. Only Florida. Oh, we talked about it. Paul, it made national news. Me? No. Cal. Join Victor. Something I've done in a while. That file right there. If we were to crash the system, and I mean leave all the files, all the song titles, everything comes out. That little, you put it right back in, and everything goes back to normal. And you should do it once a, at least once a month. I haven't done it in probably six months. Ready? Here we go. Let's go. Spanning the globe to bring you the constant variety of sport, the thrill of victory, and the agony of defeat. Swing it a man. Touchdown, and today's sports word brought by I get mine, you get yours. If you want to make sure that you go on Facebook, your broadcast gets cut off. You want Mark Zuckerberg to cut you a seven-figure check like he needs to do with his illustrious program. Go to I get mine, you get yours, located here, right off the corner of Old Winter Garden Road, and of course, opening up near UCF. Now, the big story is what's going on at Ohio State with the scandal going on with Urban Meyer and his then former wide receivers head coach. They held some little pathetic rally with 100 fans trying to protect Urban Meyer and purport to keep his job. Um, people, there was a woman who was a victim of domestic abuse, of domestic violence. And you're over here cheering and supporting the head coach who allowed this to happen? Um, excuse me. That's why it's the Ohio State. Those folks are effing crazy. 
Yes, they are. But maybe. maybe they should play. Maybe their theme song song should be a uh, Bon Jovi. Lay your hands on me. Oh gosh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Horrible. 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 Okay. Now I mentioned yesterday I was at the uh, Buccaneer training camp and the uh, the one and only Hulk Hogan made an appearance at training camp yesterday. No truth to rumor if he expressed his displeasure for certain people of a darky hue like he has in the past. But Hulk Hogan will be at, was at training camp for the Bucks yesterday. What are you talking about, Hulkamaniacs? I don't even know all black people. He took a picture with uh, Jameis Winston. Birds of a feather flock together. Thank you. Very but much. then again, hold on now. He took a pic. Polly, think about that. He took a picture with Jameis Winston. If I was a blatant bigot, I would take a picture with Donald Trump and sit there and smile about it. Yeah, you're right. And you would know the damn difference, would you? Ding, 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 ding. Come on, man. Come on, man. What are we even doing out here, man? The NBA schedule... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to go to pa Uncle Paulie. My man! <laughs> <laughs> My man! My man. Okay. The NBA schedule will be released this week. We'll have updates for you once that does come out. However, there have been rumors and leaks that the NBA Christmas Day schedule has been released. No, the Atlanta Magic will not be playing on Christmas Day. Uh, Hold on, but the Magic are going down to uh, old Mexico. Mexico for two games in I don't December. Know. I don't know why they're playing in Mexico City. They probably should be playing in Tijuana uh, at a strip club. Captain, what's the answer to all your questions? Uh, Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Can't say all your questions, kids. It's money. Now, You're right. Now, the reported schedule, according to the ESPN and multiple sources... Boston and Philadelphia will be the opening game at 12 noon, followed by Houston and Oklahoma City at 3. Sixers and Celtics, actually Bucks and Knicks will be the noon game. Thunder, Rockets, Sixers, Celtics, will those will be the two games on ABC. And then Warriors, Lakers at 8. And then the nightcap to put you to sleep, Jazz and the Blazers. Warriors! Come, would you uh, like to come out and play today? Yeah. <laughs> I, pres I presume that will be, they'll hold off the first meeting of LeBron versus Golden State till Christmas Day. They will make it official. And I'll also have the schedule for opening night and their games on Martin Luther King Day coming out later on today. I'll give you more about that on tomorrow's uh, tomorrow's Sports Sport, which, sport, which has been brought to you by I Get Mine, You Get Yours. Regardless of what you need to do in your life, I Get Mine. You better go get yours. Well, what about Polly in baseball? You know, Uncle Polly going out to the baseball park? Well, all I can tell you is that uh, the Red Sox keep on rolling. They crushed Toronto 10-2. to And the Yankees almost dropped another game back, but they rallied in 13 innings, come back and beat the White Sox. So, they're still nine back. Okay. And that's why I didn't want to talk about baseball, because he was going to talk about the Yankees and the Red Sox. Like, hold you know, it, what else the national it, media does? Hold it, hold it, hold it. And at least he does uh, talk about the Dodgers. Well, the NL East is very competitive right now. You got the Phillies, and he does and talk about my. He talks about my Dodgers and my Nets. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, that's what I understand. Dodgers. Where does that come from? Look right there. I was born okay, in LA. You fair enough. That? Dodgers and Dodgers and Nationals. I always like the Dodgers. Respect. Actually, I like San Diego because San Diego. When I was a kid in the seventies, we uh, would go to the ballpark. They give us free tickets. And you have like bat night and ball night. They stopped uh, bat night because everybody was beating each other's behind. But you get glove night I and mean, jacket night. I mean, those were the good old days. Yes, back when the Padres actually winning games. Yes. Final. Back back when uh, oh uh, my buddy was uh, on the air there. Actually, he's on the air in uh, in uh, I'm trying to spell and talk at the same time. Uh, he's on the air up in uh, L.A. My buddy, Shotgun Tom Kelly. Hi, this is Shotgun Tom Kelly from KF 101 in Los Angeles. And I'm riding Shotgun with Captain and Company in the morning. Wow. Actually, actually, last thing. On this day, 30 years ago, they turned on the lights at Wrigley Field for the first ever night game. Oh, wow. It didn't count because rain came in and the game got, got canceled. It's been that long? 30 years. Uncle Polly! You were getting your Cracker Jacks back there, peanut and popcorn and Cracker Jacks. Folks, are you having trouble falling asleep? Or what about staying asleep? Or what about even this one? Your significant other tosses and turns while you desperately are trying to get a good night's sleep. 
Well, guess what? I had all of those problems until I got a hold of Santa and his elves over at Mattress Clearance Center. Since meeting Santa and his elves, I get such a restful night's sleep, and I look forward to crashing on my king-sized mattress. Let me tell you, folks, the Mattress Clearance Center, twice the sleep at half the price. The Mattress Clearance Center has two locations in Central Florida, Maitland at 407 408 6181 or Winter Haven at 863-999-2300. The Mattress Clearance Center. Tell Santa and his elves the captain sent you. Hello everybody. This is Aloma's Barbershop. We are located at 7448 Aloma Ave, Suite 4, Winter Park. I got good news. We open seven days. Early birds, seniors, walk in. Want to make an appointment? 407-928-5812. 407-928-5812. Open Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. into 7 p.m. Sunday, 10 to 3 p.m. This is Aloma's Barbershop. Hi, this is Climax. You're listening to OldSchool101.com. Old School Class is now in session. We look forward to seeing you at our following concerts. September 15th, San Jose, California, the SAP Center, Old School Funk Fest. September 22nd, Jacksonville, Florida, at the Morocco Shrine Grounds, Throwback Fest. September 20th, Adelanto, California, at the Adelanto Stadium, back to the Funky Life Tour. November 3rd, Carson, California, at the Porsche Entertainment Center. It's a beautiful day to benefit Kasem Cares. December 1st, in the old California, at the Indio Tamale Festival, Indio, California. For more information, check us out at Climax.com. That's K-L-Y-M-A-X-X dot com. Travel the world with Smithsonian and discover your passion for exploration. With top experts, more than 100 destinations and 40 years of experience, Smithsonian offers the ultimate travel adventures. Visit SmithsonianJourneys.org to receive a free catalog. <laughs> OldSchool101.com Part of the Aquarius 7 Broadcasting Network Copyright 2018 We're on a mission from God Always something on On Saturday, September 22nd At the Throwback Fest At the Morocco Shrine Ground Here in St. John's Bluff Road South In Jacksonville Featuring Cameo H-Sound Featuring host Def Comedy Jam and BET's Comic View Comedian Tyler Craig. For tickets, contact ThrowbackConcert.com. Local outlet Blue Donna Restaurant, Norwood Avenue, The Jack's Naval Bay, and Laces on Merrill Road. Gates open at 3 p.m. Showtime's at 4:30 p.m. For tickets, contact ThrowbackConcert.com. Good morning, y'all. This is Mark from the Park Parker, Ailing from Detroit, Michigan. Now residing in London, Ontario, Canada, north of the border. And I couldn't start my morning every morning without Captain and Company. Just like my morning green tea. Peace. Okay. That 15, this will put us at 15. I think I can put in. Back to her. 
and tell her that I that you're shocked that she's single. Uh huh. Tell her that. Tell her that I said that she, I'm shocked. I'm still in shock. About Big indoor uh, thing like five million bucks price for them to practice though. Yeah, they have a new indoor facility. They have a new indoor facility. Is it like a bubble or is it a nice it's permanent it's facility? It's a permanent, it's a permanent facility. That's good. The rain outs won't affect them anymore. They can practice it this yeah. way. How many games did we take for the Dolphins this year? Three wins, something like that. Really? Looks bad. Three wins. We won set. We went seven and nine with Cannon Hill Hill out. I say eight and eight. You gotta be at least eight and eight. Come on, Paul. Fishing that. Who's gone? He stole a mic. And I'm free. Janet Jackson, my goodness. Now that we're not on Facebook, I can play what I want to play. That's right. Well, I'll worry about uh, the blockage later. I love how people get upset that they can't watch the broadcast and then they want to sit here and mouth off about, oh, well, I'll just go somewhere else. Well, go somewhere else. I mean, you're hurt me. I can't do everything. I cannot control Facebook. They act like you can, though. Yes. So go somewhere else. Actually, go hang out with those girls that yak all the time. Facebook lets the Russians do whatever they want and they're worried about what we're doing. Thank you. You're right, Paulie. Unbelievable. DJ Snake, like I said, on Saturday, he's got uh, Cheryl Cooley from Climax and actually will be over there sitting in uh, with the broadcast with DJ Snake. Cutting the fool. Also, uh, our buddy Frank. Where you at, Frank? Frank's actually got a lawnmower. Listen to this one. He's got a lawnmower that actually has a headlight on it. Have you ever heard of such a thing? Yes. Lawnmowers with headlights. Yes. That's a culture. That sounds like a cultural thing. It's got to be. I've never heard of a lawnmower with a headlight. I know people have got it. When they Unless it's a tractor. Now, if it's a tractor. Riding lawnmower. A oh, riding lawnmower. Lawn. Okay. He said a push. I think he said a push mower. So how many people you know what a push ball with a Now I can see somebody in Carroll I can see somebody in Carroll City with a push mower and they they have have their Yeah uh, yeah like that they yeah. Yeah. yeah you know I, I can see that. Yeah. That would be hilarious. <laughs> you right about that one. Speaking of hilarious, we got the question of the day coming up shortly, but I want you to think about this one. You know, my, I, I've had some really good Facebook posts and people have been chiming in. And, but think about this one. 
Is being set in your ways good? Like, for example, you're mad at me because of something that somebody else did or controls. If that's being set in your ways. I mean, but it's also being, you could be good being set in your ways such as you don't speed down the highway. You stop at stop signs. But being set in your ways can be bad if you like to drink and drive. Being set in your ways can be bad if you're a loudmouth Jerry Curl wearing uh, gold tooth uh, Dallas Cowboy fan. Ah. Or believing that uh, Tom Brady is your savior. Everybody is set in their own specific set of ways. Thank you. But shouldn't people be apt to be open to change? And there is the problem. Or better yet, instead of and I'm going to use this word, people. Instead of bitching and moaning about something, uh -huh. come up with a solution. If Facebook is blocking certain things, then find, help somebody figure out a way to go around it. Instead of complaining about it. That's a, he's Instead saying, of complaining about your life and what, what's going on in it, do something about it and move forward. I mean, my God. That's called common sense. But there's people out there that ain't even got common sense. You right about that. I'll tell you who's got some common sense. Bailey, check this one out. On Catman Company. You certainly right about that one. He's sitting here bitching about it. And he, then he wants to post something about it. So I'm like, look, watch this. This is what you do. I see why people do this now. Type in Mo Payne. M O M O E. Go back. M O. Go back. P A Y N E. Yeah. Boom. I don't have to worry about it. Don't have to worry about his mouth. Why amazes me. Posted more pictures. No arrest yet. Still waiting for the sheriff's department to call me in for a recorded statement and view a photo lineup. Paul, something does not pass the smell test. Thank you. He beat up. He beat up a former police officer. And they did nothing. Something else. There's something else. See? Has to be. Anybody else? They would have run over there. Yep. We can talk now. Okay. So hold on.
and I knew I wasn't going to catch the beat because I was busy writing down a phone number. That's Bailey. Let me tell you about Bailey really quick. You ready for this one? No. Well, my God, don't everybody just chime right in? Hey, for I was ready. I mean, come on. I was say, ready as okay. Well. Bailey is part of the Nasty Beats crew, and uh, DJ Nasty is involved in producing that, as well as his brother, Lenny. And I've known them two for, they were part of that clique that uh, Nisi D was talking about the other day, about people that we all know. Mm -hmm. So kudos to them. Oh, we're going to try to get Bailey on the show a little later on this month. What else was, oh, I know what I wanted. I was busy doing, see, I'm trying to do 10 things at once, but I'm handling it. Like you all, like only you can. Uh-huh. Let's see what, uh, where's birthday boy? I like that they're talking about fire NATOs on uh, headline news. <laughs> Hello? Is this boss man? What's going on, my bro? Man, happy birthday, boss man! Hey! Hey! Don't you say that nobody looks out for you on your birthday now. <laughs> All right. Now, okay. <laughs> Boss man, look, yeah. he always, he, yeah, yeah. Look, this is a hustling brother up here now. I mean, he could, look, you want some tickets now. This man got tickets. He got tickets to my divorce. I'm not even married. <laughs> I mean, he got, this boy got some tickets. Hey, and I heard he can juggle. This man can juggle. Okay. So, I I, I got to gotta show some love. Hey, are you going to be in Jacksonville uh, tonight? Or, I mean, tomorrow night? No, I ain't gonna make it. Okay. Quick, so I gotta heal up now. Okay. I'll be, I'll be all right for, for the first game. So. All right, well, I know I'll see I gotta talk to you on something too later. I hear your call. Get you prepared to try to look out for it. So, uh, got a lot of people already asking on the monster truck. Oh, I, I'm, I'm, yeah. We'll, we'll talk yeah. about that in a minute. Actually, yeah. let me play this next track. I'm, me and you will talk. I got to the question of the day after the SOS ban. Okay. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I got, um, I've got tickets for Jacksonville for the, uh, Throwback Fest. Yes, the general admission and general admission, they're selling them at 40. Okay. So, if we can get 10, 15, you know, then that gives you a chance to make a couple of dollars. Okay. I don't know you must go out there and work out. When is it? The 22nd. Oh. Right. right, but her tickets yeah. now, the tickets she gave me are um, e-tickets. Okay. So all I got to do is print them up. Okay. Do what you got to do when I, I can only get that to the Okay. Um, the uh, other thing is... I, I, or, or I call you first and you talk first and you let me know if I can write everything down. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I can submit it to uh, some of these guys. Okay, the other thing I've got, I'm supposed to have Disney on ice, but I just saw the email. Hold on. Shit, I got too many computers open. I received your inquiry about looking to trade the upcoming Sesame Street live show in Orlando. I just wanted to reach out to you quickly this morning and see if we were interested. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to have Sesame Street live too. Yeah. Okay, let me call. I'm in the box. Let me call you and get to the house. Okay, call me on my cell phone. I'll be done after 12. 
Tucker is part of the bomb. God damn it. I can't print shit. What do you mean, eh? Twenty bucks for ink. Damn. Holy! Good. Does anybody else need st uh, tickets? I need to sell at least one more. I don't want to, but let me see what happens today. I love Snake down there. So why did you go all the way down there and spend a hundred dollars on records? You could have downloaded these re Snake. No, I couldn't have. And the mixes I got, I said, come on, man. And then the guy's even going to give me more through a Dropbox. So I'm like, you, you don't know you don't know what I'm doing. See, that's the problem. After the hour on Catman Company on a way back Wednesday, first hour was 70, second hour 80s, third hour 90s and beyond. We're sitting here laughing after we talk to Boss Man. I get an email from Sesame Street Live. I received your inquiry about looking to trade for the upcoming show. I just wanted to reach out to you quickly this morning to see if we were still interested and what you will need to get from our two. Blah, 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 blah. I can't even read. If we're still interested, see if you were still interested in a trade and what you will need from us to get the trade started. Unbelievable. So, so, okay now, that's the throwback concert is one. One. Disney on Ice is two. Sesame Street Live three. is three. The Jaguars is four. The Bucks is five, the Magic is six, and what are you, what are you folks doing over there? Shh. Uh-huh, part of our conversation the other night. People want to hear us talk more, be more, or be more productive when we talk. And they want us to give stuff away. And they want to be able to, from time to time, go look at us on demand. And that, my friends, will take you into the 22nd century. Because this is the 21st, right? Yes, it is. Paulie, is this the 21st century? Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. With that said, the question of the day. dressed up anymore. There was a time where even in like the 50s, people would dress up to go to the beach. But even after that, 60s, 70s, 80s, even in the 90s, people would, you know, get dressed up, you know, if you're going to go to the airport, if you're going to go to church, yeah, big time. Uh, if you're going to go visit a family or friends, you would dress up. If you're going to go to a funeral, you would dress up. If you're going to go to a wedding, you would dress up. But I mean, recently you start seeing certain places where you would think you know, this is a place where you need to get dressed up and a lot of times they don't dress up. They do like shorts, flip-flops, Crocs, camo, uh, gear, you know, I, at wedding, I've seen it myself at weddings, guy with camo shorts and a t-shirt at a wedding. Holy! Yes. Are we living in an age where people don't dress on. up anymore or are there still occasions, even in 2018, where people should be dressed up to go. Cool. Your your uh, feedback on that one. Should people dress up more often? Well, you're a lot of women critiquing young men that they don't dress it up right. Yeah, and I hear a lot of old ladies or older women 
They get mad because I, I wear a football jersey all the time, and I'm like, I can care less. Well, depending on where you're going, if you're going to a five-star restaurant, you shouldn't wear Well, the other night, I got drugged into church only because I didn't know that that's where they were going to have the the debate at, and I had on a jersey, but I knew how to run the camera, so yeah, that was a, a, a faux pas, but I, I can dress up now. I was told I clean up very well. So, even Slick Vic, look at Vic. Hold on, y'all, man. Hold on, man, hold on, Let's get this. Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. It's very professional today. Yeah, Vic, Vic got his got his hair cut. He got his hair did. He got his nails did. <laughs> Fresh and clean, as the kids like to say. Okay. But, so, so you think people should dress up? Now, I ever seen Vic dressed up. That's tough. I need them real. I need them nice. I don't do it. 